not too bad, thank you very much. And I just realised my mic was muted, so back to the start. Hello everybody nice. and welcome to esportsbeer.com. Well, my name is Kai and alongside me is Chewie and hopefully this time it came through. Yes, hopefully so. Hopefully it's all good. Nice one, Kai Knight. <laughs> Always a good start to the show, which is what we want. And uh, I think we've had a change in schedule, as we can see. We were going to be doing, um, what we're going to be doing, Titan RV. Uh, but unfortunately, there's been issues elsewhere, as I've seen on other streams. So we're going to be doing Epsilon Online Box, which is still going to be a good game. It is. And GMX going for the hat trick. Gets it. And not a bad way to introduce himself into the game. Four man from GMX. Not bad. Not, not bad whatsoever. So I'm looking forward to seeing what this game is going like. Thank you to everybody who's already tuning in and coming to say hello. Please remember to tweet out the stream telling all your friends to come and watch because uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Kainite, we're going to be doing uh, the Fnatic game after this one if the yeah, schedules sure work out. Not sure if CSGO Lounge will play along, but hey, we don't need CSGO Lounge. We'll have a go. We'll exactly. see. We're, we're, we're here because we love the game. Indeed, and as long as you guys are enjoying the cast, we'll keep going. So, Epsilon already with that 1-0 lead on the CT side here, which is great for them being on that more favoured side, and they're going to start things off against online bots. With those more heavier rifles and the online bots, have uh, just got to see what they can do with those pistols in hand. I somehow don't think it's going to work, and with Shoxie already opening things up with that fan mass, it's going to be even more difficult for them here. Yeah, very, very difficult. It's also going to go down, leaving Nugger with it all to do. One versus five and I don't know about you Chewie but he's gonna try and walk through this smoke and I just can't see him do, do doing this. No there's no chance whatsoever although SF actually who I believe yeah it is SF just around the corner he's only on 19 HP uh, but it wasn't to no avail unfortunately Kiyoshima's gonna finish him off so 2-0 is the score to Epsilon and of course online bots no bomb plants or anything of that nature and hardly any frags. Let's see how many frags have they got? One between five of them in two rounds um, so they're not going to be able to buy up anything special here whatsoever. CZ75s is just going to be the name of the game. No armor even it's just Nugger is going to have a couple of flashes um, and that's about it. So they should unless they can pull off something really crazy spectacular uh, be 3-0 in favor of the CTs from France. Yeah online bots didn't manage to uh, get the bomb down in either the first or second round. Shock see the ex Titan man looking for two. He's not going to get it as Chetty finds himself absolutely surrounded. And no surprises as of yet. They know exactly where Nugger is. He's going to get shut down by uh, the aim master in shocks. But online bots have managed to push all the way through CT spawn. And they are finally going to plant Chewie. Thank God for that. Indeed, and Shox is going to get that kill up onto Fetsto, so all in the hands of Spur, the last one left alive, and he's in a very difficult situation, he has managed to pick up one, but he does get cleaned up, and they're not going to be too worried about that, and Kiyoshima actually, uh, after not seeing that bomb underneath the dead body, he's actually found he hasn't got a kit, but he's going to have plenty of time to defuse, and GMX came off very, very lucky there indeed, he's left on 3 HP, but he's going to be able to save that rifle, and all of the grenades that he's got left in hand. So 3-0 is the score here, and now the online bots are going to be able to buy. Of course, um, after ecoing for three rounds, well, obviously the two rounds after the pistol, and getting that bomb down as well, it's going to look good for them, and they've actually got for an AWP to start things off in the hands of Spurs. So let's see if they can open things up. This is always such a critical round. Yeah, and I just want people to know that the second Titan Navi game on Dealers 2 has been postponed. Hence why uh, we're casting Epsilon versus Online Bots. And we're going to be doing Navi versus Fnatic after this. So after this game, don't go anywhere. We have Navi versus Fnatic um, uh, on this channel. But here we go. The Online Bots, the lads from Estonia, have finally got those big weapons in hand. They've got four Klashnikovs, to be exact. And uh, Spur is going to be the man to rally the troops with the big green gun in the AWP. Yeah, but no frags as of yet. One minute on the clock left to go before the end of the round, and online bots will be looking to try and make a decision about where they want to go soon. They're just trying to get as much information as possible before they decide anywhere by the looks of things. Uh, but that could take quite a while because Epsilon are holding strong here. They're not picking anything silly, and you can see Helix here. He's actually found that player, so as soon as I said that nobody was going to peak, GMX was the man who did. And he's going to get knocked down to 62 HP. And is that going to be the start of a push here onto the A bomb site from online bots? We're about to find out, but kind of that bomb's still all the way back near towards T spawn. And that clock is ticking down very, very quickly. 
Yeah, they've got to pick it up. They've got to go for this. Good defensive smokes from Epsilon. They're really running down the clock. It is going to be uh, Fetz who is going to be the man to pick up the bomb. But Shoxi is uh, mowing down the Estonians. And with 10 seconds to go, they're not going to have enough time to get this bomb down anywhere. SF's going to push Banana, get the headshot onto Spur. And Fetz is... He's, he's going to try and save what he can, and he's making the right decision. But online bots will now find themselves four rounds down and going into another eco. Which yeah, this is... Uh, at all. No, it's looking nasty. And, and that's the thing, is that they didn't even get anything there of worthwhile whatsoever in that round. You know, Far after... Slow. It is, it is. Penetration. And, and well, that's what she said. Uh, and after the... Um, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's a joke. If anybody watches The Office there, that's a joke from that show, so I use it all the time and I just couldn't resist there. That See, was just a classic one. Every time I say the word penetration, Twitch chat normally, you know, starts going penetration, kappa, and then yeah. you just did it too. Well, there we go. Actually, by the looks of things, online bots have bought up here. We said they were going to go for an eco, but they've picked up two AK-47s and got some armor as well, so they were able to buy a bit, but not really anything too crazy. They have taken now Shoxy, which is always a good start to the round, but Helix has gone down. Spur rewarded for his troubles by picking up an M4. So actually, online bots here, not in the worst situation ever, but if FXO keeps pulling off those shots with his AWP, which he know that he can do both online and at land now after his performance last weekend at G3, they're going to be 5-0 down before they can uh, even really think about this round being over. But it looks like they're going to be making their way down towards Banana here. And I think this is a good decision because having a look at the Epsilon setup here, they've got three on A and only one player, which is actually going to be SF, stacked up here towards Banana. Yeah, if they can uh, check to yeah, that flash should really, in reality, flash SF. Let's go over to him. He's fallen back all the way towards this B bomb site. He's uh, tried to do that pop flash. But the online bots players are slowing it down as we do see CTs rotating from CT spawn. I want to see a faster take onto this bomb site from the online bots. They pushed SF one by one. And can Spur get the kill? He's run out of bullets. It's not going to be easy. Down he goes. Doesn't matter if there's a smoke in the way. Kiyoshima, top quality player. Leaving Fetz one versus three. Fetz one versus three. And he's actually got a good chance of taking this one because... FX Joe's down to 2 HP and GMX is down to 31, but it's not going to happen. Kiyoshima finishes him up and has got plenty of time to get the defuse. And again, it just didn't work out for online bots there. I mean, of course, they weren't aware that there was only one player on that B bomb site, but, you know, they just didn't push it successfully. Uh, I mean, yeah, they got the bomb down, but it just wasn't enough. And then we saw those CT players rotating really quickly um, through CT spawn and they got onto that site. And I think SF actually could have had a big kill on them uh, on the online bot starting to end to be there and they just shut them down so yeah they got the bomb down which is great for their economy and they will be able to buy here but it just wasn't enough and Epsilon already starting to run away with this game and we're only in round number six yes we are into round number six we go and look who it is again it's Joey FXO for the opening frag for Epsilon and well I'm gonna be honest with you Epsilon have really really impressed me in the last few weeks on this map I think a few days ago we casted them where they uh, I think they beat LDLC and Shots wasn't having a very good game. But look yeah. at him now. Ten kills and three deaths. It's amazing what Epsilon are capable of when Shocks is, is hitting his shots. Well, also to put into perspective, Shocks is obviously one of those players who will just do it time and time again. But GMX actually is 8 0 after, well, almost six rounds, and he hasn't actually died yet whatsoever. So GMX already with a good start, yeah. He did get a, uh, half of those kills, actually, in the um, in the first round when he got that crazy 4K, and it's actually going to be 9 over him. 9 2 and 0 is the score for GMX. Great performance coming in, and, and that's the thing. You know, if you've got two players just performing up to those standards already and putting down big frags in the first six rounds, and you're on the more favoured side of a map like Inferno, you know, the T's are going to be in trouble in a pretty quick fashion here. And as far as I'm aware, both GMX and Shox are playing the A-bomb site. Uh, I believe they are. Yeah, they are. Which is leaving SF and Kiyoshima over towards B, and yet still, online bots, yeah, they've been able to get the bomb down on B, but it's just not worked for them. And once again, FXO is going to start things off. Yeah, it's an eco, but this is just absolute demolition here. Online bots in a real spot of bother, and this is almost just seems like it's a warm-up here for Epsilon. I'm not going to lie. I don't want to be biased, and I'm sure I'm going to get some hate for that in the chat, but they've got to do something, and they've got to do something quickly. The thing about Shocks is that he's always been known as one of those players who doesn't practice. 
He's not interested in learning smokes. He's not interested in learning flashes. He's not interested in spending hours on deathmatch. He just well and truly is not, not really, really naturally gifted. He's, 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 a, he's a bit like Leo Messi in a way. You give him a ball and then he pr pr just produces something absolutely out of this world. And it's going to be SF to get the headshot and going back to shocks. He thrives when he's playing well. It gives him the confidence boost he needs. He starts going aggressive. He starts playing that in-your-face brand of Counter-Strike, which has really suited CSGO. And again, once he's on fire, he's on fire. Not even God himself probably can stop him. But it also works the other way around, as we saw the other day, when Shoxi isn't having the best game of his life. Yeah. He does struggle to pick himself up. And uh, GMX will level it up to a three-on-three. Yep, he will do indeed. Shoxy though, the first player down in this round, and GMX is finally going to get taken down. That's the first time we've actually seen him die so far in the game. 10-3-1 and one for him, and this is looking potentially good here for the T's. It's a 2-1-2 two -two situation, both teams with an AWP and then a rifle as well, and they're deciding to go towards A, but FXO, you've got to be careful when you pick this guy. He's been so on fire with that AWP from what we've seen so far. He's hardly missed a shot. And that's going to really lead for some issues here. Nugger's going to get caught, and he does find one. So, is this going to be the start of Online Bot's first round on the board? He's got 19 seconds left on the clock, and FXO is going to start rotating around from the A-bomb site now. And I think Nugger played that really well. He peeked out after his teammate got taken down. FXO wasn't going to challenge, and he went, OK, then, All right, I'll take that as my advantage and make my way through Arch. So in comes FXO. He's going to find oh! a shot. Oh, my God, <laughs> FXO! How did he do that? 3 HP... And online bots just must feel completely cheated out of the round. That was crazy. Well, it goes to show what FXO is capable of. I mean, I've been following this guy ever since he joined Epsilon. His name I'd seen around before. And I think G3 was his proper uh, LAN event outside of France, someone was telling me. And my word, this guy has just appeared out of nowhere and he's tearing teams to shreds. And because the online bots have lost so many consecutive rounds, they do have a bit of money. We are going to have the battle of the snipers, but FXO, oh of course, God. is going to win it. And the online bots are dropping like flies. And Shoxy, it wouldn't surprise me if he got a kill on here. Um, it's brilliant from Epsilon. This is the most together I've seen Epsilon play. I mean, obviously, we saw them on the weekend, and I was lucky enough to cast two of their games, one against Fnatic and one against London Conspiracy, and they lost both of those games. But, I mean, Epsilon looked really strong when I saw them uh, play against Nip, um, obviously when they had that 11-4 comeback to win 16-14, but still here, this just looks... I think the best way to put it is regimental. You know, these are the type of games which are really difficult to cast, because us as casters, you know, we don't want to seem biased, we want there to be a close game, and we love underdog wins as well, but but when they're performing like this, it literally just seems like they're unstoppable. It's absolutely crazy. Two versus three. It's still doable for the Estonians. But uh, Nuga, as it stands, is currently uh, on the phone to a medic. He's only on 21 points of health. And that's a good Molotov from Kiyoshima. We sometimes don't see teams utilizing the Molotov enough. He's going to get one and the double. And it's easy peasy, lemon squeezy for Epsilon, 9-0. And you do have to start wondering, Chewy, what on earth the online bots have to do to unlock this Epsilon defense. Yeah, well, Helix still with a frag to get. We've had nine rounds so far. He's died nine times, not even an assist to his name. And Fett's actually with only one frag for him. And so the whole online bot squad are really going to be start well I'm sure they were anxious earlier on but now considering the fact that they've allowed this lead to really rack up to the extent that it has they're going to start worrying and they have forced it up here they know that they need to get as many rounds on the board as soon as possible and they're going to go in quick onto the A-bomb side by the looks of things and is this going to be the start of a different playstyle and the start of something good not by the looks of things FXO, GMX and Shocks each with one for themselves they are going to respond Nugget and Fetz they're taking out FXO and SF but Shocks just comes in and throws them down onto the floor Nugger and Fetz getting cleaned up in quick style you're not going to get past him and that's going to be already after 10 rounds epsilon on double figures this is just demolishment 17 kills six deaths for mr shoxy mr richard papillon richard shox papillon too strong too strong but the online bots they are going to try something different they're all uh, going 
up towards Banana where SF is waiting for them. It will be an anti-eco bash. Hello, Chetsy with the P250. But we've seen Kiyoshima hold hold off this bomb site, hold off any incoming attacks from this position. Um, uh, we saw him do it a few rounds ago, and no surprise, up against an eco, he's done it again. 11 nil, and this is starting to get a bit embarrassing, Chewy. Yeah, it is a tiny bit, and it's obviously a nice warm-up for you and me to cast just to get our vocal folds working and everything into good shape, ready for the second game of the day. But still, I wanted a close one. I wanted to see online bots coming into this game on Inferno and showing Epsilon what they can do, because you know we know when Epsilon starts to get a bit shaky, uh, they can get really shaky at times, especially as we said earlier on when uh, Shox isn't performing to his best. And Sh Shox is actually going to go down, and just a little pointer. I love Shetty's like little icon that he's got there. It's actually my favourite like. Team TV character in the world, so Shetty's my new favourite player That's purely because it's, it's, it's a character <laughs> called Dwight Schrute, again from The Office, and he's like my favourite person in the world, so Shetty, you've got a new fan, but 4-on-4 four four situation, back on to normal topics of Counter-Strike, and uh, online bots, we said that they've got to do something soon, but in all honesty, with the way that Epsilon are playing, I already think that there's a chance that this could be past them, but you never quite know, this is CS. Yeah, it is CS, not Call of Duty the last time I checked, sorry. Sorry. Hey, 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 I knew that. You knew that was coming up, didn't you? Obviously, oh, if yeah. anyone's unsure why I said that, Chewie used to cast the yeah, yeah, uh, Call of Duty. You used to join the, operative the PC word, uh, Master Race. Switch to the dark side. <laughs> but here we go. Fetz has dealt a lot of damage onto Kiyoshima. Normally, he's a CT who's holding the B bomb site, but he has gone all the way towards CT spawn. But it doesn't matter. It's a good old Joey who's going to pop up yet again. Surprisingly, missed the second. But he knows that they are going towards CT spawn. Out comes the CZ. He can see the confidence flowing through his veins. But he will go down. And at three versus two, this is doable for the online bots. Spur not in the easiest of positions because he is stuck with that big AWP. And with the clock ticking, it's going to take a lot for Helix to try and pull this one out the bag. And he got that spray all wrong. And I think that spray pretty much summed up online bots' game so far. They really yeah. are living up yeah. to their name and playing like bots. <laughs> Boom, roasted. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Round number 13 we go, and this is just getting more and more. Uh, I don't know what the right word is, to be quite honest. 16 it's just, mil HLTV. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. And yeah, I mean, you just have a look at it. Kiyoshima, he's only 9 and 2, um, but he's got $15,000 in the bank, and GMX has still only died once. And I don't think I've seen that before. In 12 and a half rounds now, GMX is only dying once. Uh, I, I've never seen anything quite like it, whether it's online, LAN, whatever. Um, but, you know, they, they've got the opening flag again here. Fetz is down to 8 HP and he's got an AWP, so he's got to be careful. Shetty's down to 18 HP and he's got to be careful as well. And, uh, you know, I really don't want to sound biased. And I'm sorry, guys, if we do sound biased when we talk about this. But, uh, you know, as I'm, sh you know, put it in our, you know, get yourselves in our shoes. It's so difficult not to be biased in any form when this is the kind of scoreline that we're seeing. But hello, come on Helix, let's see what you can do. I think he's got running to be hurt. That's a nice shot onto GMX though. Is that going to be the start of an opening? No, it's not. Shox is instantly going to shut him down. And this is what I love about top level Counter-Strike is that if one of your players goes down, there's always going to be a player in most circumstances to back you up and make sure that they can help you out. And that's exactly what Shox does best. So once again, all in the hands of Shetty. Last man standing, but this is going to be 13-0 in favour of Epsilon after 13 rounds. Yeah, and someone just said that the online box are playing like tampons. I, I mean, didn't know that could be such a thing. Yeah, I exactly. Like, I, I read it and it's like, hmm, I can see what he's trying to say, but trying to compare Counter-Strike players to tampons. I mean, granted the online bots have taken a lot of blood so far this game, but I don't know what he was trying to get at. You know that it's a struggle to cast a game and that it's really one-sided when we're at the stage in the match where we're talking having about to discuss tampons. tampons well, like so. yesterday when we were talking about the penises in the chat. Yeah, we were. That's, that's how difficult it was getting. But hello, this is better. Come on, online bots. We're supporting you. FXO is going to respond. So is Kiyoshima. Eventually, the B bomb site looks like it could be clear. In comes FXO, though. He's going to pick up that lovely shot onto Spur. And now it's a two on two situation. Finally, online bots show some aggression. And it's actually been a round where I think they've got the most frags. So it's GMX and FXO going up against Nugger and Fetzit. They've got to be careful. Is he going to turn on that player and try and get that one shot into his head? It doesn't look like it's going to work. And GMX is just going to finish him off instead and really once again just describe what we've seen here in the first half so Fett's 28 HP for this man but 
Got to take into account that GMX and FX Yo are low, but it's not going to happen. GMX finishes him up again. That's two quick frags coming in for that man. And still, even when online bots get aggressive and they get, you know, some early picks onto a site, they can't get all of the entry frags they needed. And they just kind of slowed down a bit on B there and weren't able to get the bomb down, which led Epsilon to being able to get a quick rotation and more frags came in. And that was just it. And then they were caught on the B bomb site, got shut in there, and that was round number 14 for Epsilon. Yeah, it seems like someone's explained the tampon reference. Apparently, OB um, is a tampon brand in Norway. I uh, really? Yeah, apparently. Okay, there we go. Thank you very much for that. That's the I don't want to talk about I'm, your girlfriend's tampon. Let's, I'm going to disconnect from the <laughs> channel if this is where the conversation's going. I don't mean it in a bad way. But anyways, here we go. Two versus four. Shoxy has been hurt pretty damn badly, but he is still firing in the live, and he doesn't miss from that distance. Manages to drop Helix, and SF will get the final kill. 15-0 is the score, Chewy, and uh, mm -hmm. what did you make of that half? Well, it was really close. I couldn't tell the difference between the two teams, and I'm really excited to see if Epsilon can pull the comeback in the second half. Ha! Tampons, bro. It's all about tampons. It is. It yeah. is. Right, who in the chat? Where's tampon? Why are we discussing this? We've already had this topic. Dude. Let's 15 move on. Nil. 15 nil. I like his. There's a guy called Norway you know, Man 12. I just yeah, like he was the guy name. who said that. He was OB the guy who said it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just love that he he's so full of pride about his nation that he even calls Mate. himself the Norway Morton Man. Pedersen. Morton Gamst Pedersen. A living legend. <laughs> Zoe right. 1. Morton oh. Gamst Pedersen. One Morton Gams Pedersen. There's only one Morton Gams Pedersen. In all seriousness, now let's actually talk about something worthwhile just as this second half starts. Thank you to all you know 3,000 of you tuning Someone in. Someone just asked for a Russian accent on the pistol round. Uh, do it. Just do it. Do you, this, is, yeah. this is the way it's going. I mean, going. Epsilon are going to win. If Epsilon don't win, then you can cast the rest of the game by yourself. I don't think I'll be able to. If Epsilon don't win this game, I, as I said yesterday when something crazy was going to happen, I will twerk on my own stream. I will start it up and I will twerk <laughs> if Epsilon throw this game. In before they deliberately throw it. Hey-ho! Russian oh. accent, please, Mr. Kyanite. So here we go, the online boss, they put uh, initially three players on the B-bomb site, but now they quickly rotate one more extra man to A-bomb site, and Epsilon, the team from France, they are going towards the A-bomb site. SF will jump in the sky like an angel, but he likes Satan. He drops down, gets the kill, and well, bye-bye, see you later, Estonia. 16-0. This is, this is sick. Chewy sick, as Rahim would say, from back in the day, and Chetty goes down 16-0, and Chewy, you know what, Epsilon won, but I want to see you twerk anyways. Well, no I know, I said that Hashtag was a deal, no and Epsilon ev evidently didn't want me to twerk, they didn't want to see that monstrosity. Guys, so if you want to see Chewy twerk, no. spam, spam hashtag no. Chewy twerk in chat, come on.